only interesting hand on day three was when at the first table um, where I had opponents that had not so much experience and I thought I could put a move in, in one or two spots. Uh, one of those opponents raises uh, middle position. I have king nine suited in the big blind and uh, we were playing 1000-2000. He raised it to four and a half and I have around uh, 60 big blinds. So 120,000 I call and the flop was jack six deuce uh, with two of my suits. So I flopped the king high flush draw. I check, he makes a continuation bet around 40% pot. I call, it's standard from here, but then the turn pairs the jack. And I thought he was going to fold a little bit too much. And uh, of course, most of the people still make a continuation bet. So even if he has like ace queen or ace 10 suited or uh, maybe medium pairs, um, he is uh, maybe folding the the turn or if the river bricks now that I lead the jack I can lead again on the river and make him fold most of the hand so uh, I bet 10,000 he calls uh, quite quick and the river is the three a blank and I bet 25,000 and he just snaps it off with aces because of course <laughs> nobody's gonna fold aces against the young guy and uh, yeah that was a little bit unfortunate cost me a couple of chips um, on the good table and then as predicted, the table broke. I was moved to a quite a hard table where I couldn't do anything out of the ordinary. I just played straightforward and was carded for three hours and then called with six, seven suited, flopped a pair when I had like 16 big blinds, check raised all in, and the opponent had aces again. <laughs> called. I bricked, I had around uh, yeah, 35% because I had backdoor uh, flush and uh, straight draws my pair but yeah uh, that was it with the main event